Welcome to another episode of The Split Decision here with Tom, George, and Taku. I uh, can't wait to bring you another episode. This episode is about the, the 2020 Hall of Fame class. I uh, can't wait to dive into it. Also, can't forget to mention our sponsor, Kremlin. They've got a new website coming up. They're working on it at the moment. It should be up in a couple of weeks. And we'll make sure to link that in the description when it's up. Make sure you guys check it out. It looks They've been sending us photos and it looks absolutely sick. Exclusive, and, uh, exclusive. <laughs> and then also make sure to check out um, our Instagram, our Twitter and all that. Make sure to follow. We'll be More content will be coming on that soon. But yeah, uh, yeah, say what's up. <laughs> Stay tuned for Kremlin, boys. Right. You want to kick it off, Taku? Just... All right, um, straight into it. So straight in. <laughs> segment one, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the twenty. Uh, so the basketball hall of fame, the finalists came out on the weekend, and is headlined by eighteen-time All Star, five-time NBA champion Kobe Bryant, fifteen-time NBA All Star, five-time NBA champion Tim Duncan, fifteen-time All Star, nine-time Defensive First Team selection Kevin Garnett. And ten-time WNBA All-Star Tamika Catchings. We'll only be talking about the uh, players this episode because we don't really know about like the coaches. Yeah, we're not, we're, not, we're, not, we're into basketball, but not that much into basketball. <laughs> if you know, I mean, but, David Fizz, what's his name? David, David Fizzdale, coach, greatest Mike, coach of all time. <laughs> my extent of coach's knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson or whatever his name was. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Yeah, that guy that coached the Bulls. He, he was good. You mean Phil Jackson? <laughs> yeah, same thing. <laughs> Bro, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Who is this guy? Right, uh, so the first, the first uh, nominee, you know, what's his name? Tim Duncan. The guy, I didn't put, the guy that didn't put him on my top ten list. Tim Duncan. The whole Bro, I, I didn't world. put this guy in my I don't know how 10. you didn't put Tim and Duncan in your top ten. Now. Bro, oh, bro, man. Tim Duncan like easily like top three power forward of all time. <laughs> He's not even in your list. <laughs> He's probably the best. Alan Iverson, Alan Iverson in your list. <laughs> Tim Duncan is in your list. Bro, so coming in at six eleven, Duncan was the number one draft pick in the ninety seven draft. The big fundamental, as some the call big it. Big fundamental, bro. The bro, go. <laughs> listen to some of his key stats. We we, we got written down here. He averaged nineteen points per game, ten point eight rebounds per game. Nearly one steal per game, two point four turnovers per game. That's not terrible. Three that's assists good, per game, solid. two blocks per game, which is pretty big. That's I reckon elite, that's like a that big thing. Yeah. And fifty percent from the field with a um, yeah, fifty percent from the field. And then two point four fouls per game. Yeah, that's huge. Fifty percent from the field. You know, most players. What, what do you reckon the average is for like for like the field goal 40, percentage? Forty. But like, you also have to like. Yeah, Count he's bumps, like bumps, like yeah. So like maybe like mid, like thir- like thirty six, thirty seven. True, then, but like forty, fifty percent from the field is like fucking elite. Yeah, I know. No matter like the position, like I know, but like John Jordan Jordan's like sixty, like sixty five, I think, or some shit like that. something crazy like that. Oh yeah, but it's because he like they, they do layups most of the time. All he does is all he does is dunks. Yeah. Yeah, dunks and layups. Like, does that really count? I mean, Curry, greatest shooter. Curry's the greatest shooter of all time. <laughs> that man splashes. That's crazy. That's actually but crazy. then, he, like, his all ten of his. I saw this thing. All ten of his seasons, he shot over forty percent from three. That's which crazy. Is far. The league average is thirty three percent. Yeah, I remember that. I remember was it one year like the average from the corner was like thirty percent, and his was seventy one percent. Oh my god! That's. It, I think it was when. It's like three years back, he's averaging 71% from the corner. The That's hardest, madness. Like, the hardest shot on the court, basically. The corner shot? No, corner shot's easiest shot on the court. Easiest three-point shot. No way, man. you got no backboard supporting you. True, but like... Well, then it's the shortest distance. The shortest distance. Yeah, that's true. Shortest distance. But like, it's harder because uh, I guess I guess it's... Yeah, it's like, I, I guess you win some, you lose some, you know. But then, like, pros PJ cons. Tucker, like, I know PJ Tucker is like one of the best three point corner shooters in the league. That's true. like legit for the Rockets. All he does is just stands in the corner, <laughs> it's just like mean 2K. 
<laughs> just chuck the power in the corner with his KD build. Bro, bring back, <laughs> bring back bro, the KD build. Bro, that was crazy. We, oh, uh, we're getting off topic. We're getting off topic. Uh, anyway, so when he was quoted saying, "Thank you, Coach Pop, for being more than a coach, for being like a father to me." Mm, and Pop. um, yeah, I can, Pop, I can see, go. I can see. Pop, Pop was Pop is goaded, man. Pop is good. He really, he go, really did connect with these players. Every every player that like looks like that talks about Pop only has the highest regards for him, you know. But low key, like if I was to pick my goat coach, it has to be Phil Jackson, though. Michael Jackson, you mean? Michael Jackson, yeah. <laughs> eleven, bro, eleven championships. He really connected with the kids. Bro. <laughs> nah, man. you had a pocket for that. <laughs> No, nah, but no, nah, I reckon oh, nah, yeah. Pop. Yeah, Pop is definitely top three coach of all time. Oh yeah, Pop. It's like Pop. I can. A lot of people would say Pop's coach because like the stuff he's done over twenty years, pretty much making like the play. Like not like twenty five years, making the playoffs. What was his like, record? Year. Oh, I saw his record recently. Like his wins to loss ratio at the Spurs. It was crazy. He like doubled his wins and his losses, or something like that. I'm pretty sure. That's fuck. That's crazy. It was crazy. So yeah, he has yeah. um a record of one thousand two hundred and seventy two wins to six hundred and eleven losses in his that... coaching career with the San Antonio Spurs. That's crazy, bro. He's had double the wins than his losses. That's but that's that's just elite. But then he's had like he had David Robertson. He had um yeah, David Robertson, he had the only look, I'm looking at it now, the only season he went below five like, it was like below two years five hundred was last year where he oh, was yeah. Um, twenty-seven to, uh, twenty-seven to thirty-six of the coach games he coached, and then his first year, where um he coached seventeen of forty-seven, but then in both seasons where he's below five hundred, he only coached sixty-three games. Oh uh, yeah, I mean last year, last year was rough though. He did lose his wife. Yeah. Oh, facts. Yeah, that was sad. That was sad, but like, so you can't really judge him on that. Anyway, yeah. back to Tim Duncan. Uh, we'll, we'll list some of his accomplishments. I've got some of his listed accomplishments just to show, like, how much of a resume. What's the, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Stable. Force he was. I don't know. What are you trying to say? Like, I don't know. There's like the word on state. Is a staple? Is like a staple in the league or something? Yeah, I mean, you could say that a staple in the league. I mean. Five-time NBA champion in 1999, 2003, 2005, 2007, and 2014. Oh, yeah, wait, times... One thing is you can't forget also, those years, they were pretty much battling with the Lakers. It was like... Yeah, that's right. It was that's Lakers, right. Lakers, Spurs pretty much alternating. It was, and it was... like, he could have had way more. He could have had like eight or nine if he wasn't getting stopped by those Kobe and Shaq Lakers. Was 99 the Bulls? They played... Who did they play in the 99 final? No, they wouldn't no, have played it because it Jordan went... No, no. They Jordan didn't have retired the second time. 99, who'd they play? Uh, 99 finals. They played... Uh, the Sweat. I can't even see this. Bro. I can't. I'm trying to think. The New York Knicks. The... the Knicks. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The Knicks. But was that the year Um, when... I'm trying to think. Is that the year when Patrick Ewing missed that finger roll? Uh, I don't think. I think, yeah. Maybe. Oh, Patrick Ewing, a great center. Bro, Patrick Ewing to doing shit. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he was a good center, but just a but he was, yeah, he was. 2003 was the Lakers. 2005, probably the Lakers, I'm guessing. Nah, so 1999 Spurs, then 2000, 2001, 2002 Lakers. No, no, I'm, I'm saying who they played. Oh, oh, you mean finals? Yeah, in the finals. No, the Lakers, the Lakers are in the West with them. How are they going to play the Lakers in the finals? What the fuck? Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. That's um, <laughs> two thousand three NBA Finals was the well, Nets. I don't remember off the top of my head. Two thousand three NBA Finals was the Nets, and then um I know two thousand seven was the Cavs. Two thousand fourteen was the um the last two were LeBron. Was the yeah was the Heat, and then the two thousand five were the D- Detroit Pistons. Yeah, facts. So then he's really- winning. He really lost to LeBron twice, though. No, he beat LeBron twice. He beat Sorry, LeBron. he beat LeBron twice. And then LeBron well, beat like them in 2013. You can't hate a break. Dude, can't read numbers. Bro, I can't, I, I can't function. <laughs> but <laughs> he was a three times finals MVP in the 1999, 2003, and 2005. Mm. Um, 
finals championships that he won. So when yeah. he was a lot, when he was younger, he was winning more. He he won more. But I mean, then he's also still dominating in the back end of his career as well. Two thousand uh, two thousand seven was it? I think was it Tim? Uh, Tim? What's his? Not Tim. Fucking Tony Parker. Yeah. No. Yes. Finals MVP. Let me have a look. I think I got. I think we got. Yeah, it was Tony, yeah, it was Tony, Tony Parker. Parker. And then twenty fourteen was Kawhi. Yeah, Kawhi. I mean Kawhi. He just he was the done. Kawhi, like My favorite know. video is the one where it's the finals and. Like Kawhi checks in and LeBron just shakes his head. He's like, damn. Yeah, LeBron looks back and he's like, fuck yeah. Bro, that must be, that must, that, like, you must be goaded once Le- once LeBron, like, turns uh, around and just starts shaking. Bro, Le- Kawhi was like 22 or something at the time. Think yeah, about that. Young. That's crazy. Man. Uh, Duncan was a two time NBA MVP. We went back to back years in 02 and 03. 02, that was my year of birth. Gang represent. <laughs> Hey, O2 gang, what up? <laughs> Shut up, you're like, you're like 19, you're like, you're like 2008. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Duncan uh, was, uh, yeah, so I've already said he was taken number one by the Spurs. Overall, yeah, in, 90, in the 97 draft, man, that was you know ages ago. You know what's crazy? Like, the Spurs in 96 were like, they were good, but I think that's the year David Robinson got injured and they, they tanked. And they locked into the number one draft, and they just pretty much got a dynasty out of it. And I think that's, that's what, crazy. That what's gonna happen? Crazy. All for one injury. Yeah, exactly. And that's what's gonna happen to the Warriors. I reckon. I reckon. So they um they had all those injuries. Now they're tanking. Not tanking, but they tanked. And then they're gonna get like a top three pick. Get like Wiseman. either James Wiseman or Lamelo Ball or something like that. No, they won't take Lamelo. You know, you know, I reckon if they don't get number one, they will trade it. Like, cause I can. It makes sense They'll for them to draft yeah. to draft James Wiseman. I reckon. There's there's no point in them taking Melo. Why would they take Melo when they still got yeah, Curry and Clay? They've got so many guards. Yeah. And they got yeah. Oh, they used to have Queen Cook. I reckon Queen Cook was a very underrated point guard. Just quietly. Nah, relax. Allow it. Allow no, it. no, no. I'm saying he's nah, good. I'm not nah. saying he's great. Like he was a good off the bench point guard. Uh, he's not, he's okay. Like yeah, I'm not saying he was great. I'm just saying he was good. Like he was just he was one of those players who's like you know he comes off the bench you're gonna get a, you're gonna get point you're gonna get points. Yeah, yeah. Oh, true. He gave you solid, solid ten. <laughs> All right, so we're back okay. after that small little cut. George uh, didn't have his mic plugged in or anything, so we couldn't hear him. That's why you probably Stupid couldn't hear him the whole time. Act. But yeah, George, what did and you? I want thought to say? everyone could hear me. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, um, yeah. I think the Warriors should uh, should draft James Wiseman because. You know, they did not need another guard, as you guys just said. So, and I think he'll be good to space the floor as well and a good defender. So, a good all around center for them. And they'll yeah. be back. Yeah. You know, yeah, I saw yeah. this thing. I saw this thing. It's like they finessed the NBA. So, they they um had everyone injured. They get a number one pick, you know, in a shortened season where the playoffs might not even play. Yeah, I saw that as well. I saw that as well. Yeah. yeah. So, they just finessed the NBA. They, they again. full finessed the NBA. Everyone's yeah, I mean... not getting their cheeks clapped and they're really just, you know, preparing. But I mean, a hey, Timberwolves second worst record in the West. We about to get Lamelo Ball. Then we can have a backcourt of D'Angelo Russell, Lamelo Ball, Jay, um, Jarrett Culver, and bloody Cat. You, you've had the second worst Did record you? in the West for like the last ten years. Hey, hey. No, we made the playoffs. We made the playoffs like <laughs> two years ago, right? <laughs> Don't Do you reckon sleep. what's it called? Um, more people, more like rookies are gonna start going to like European leagues to play, like Doncic. I think did you see Lamelo bought um the, the Illawarra the Hawks, Illawarra yeah. Hawks? So he think, bought them. Yeah, he bought them. What that's the like, f- that's money. How can you, you play for them and be the owner? What the f- no, because <laughs> he's he's left now. So oh, and then he, he bought them. So that that's like money moves, and I think it makes yeah. sense, and I think it's better than going to the end, bro. The NCAA is an absolute joke. Like oh, yeah, honestly, they don't I have to play for them anymore. And we should actually do, we should do an episode on that, like just the NCAA. Oh my god! I know the politics behind it, but I don't know the players enough. Like I'm not that into the college bit, but like I no, hear just, a lot about it. We just talk about the politics because fuck the politics of some BS. Right, that's... <laughs> anyway, back to Tim Duncan. In uh, so he was drafted in '97, I think we're up to, and uh, yeah. he was the Rookie of the Year in '98, like undisputably. He was he was. Definitely one of the greatest to come out of his class. Probably the greatest to come out of his class in 97. Actually, who came out of that 97 class? Are you really making me do research mid-episode? No, but like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to think, I'm trying to think. Chauncey, not... Chauncey Billups, dude. 
Tracy McGrady. So yeah. Chauncey Billups with the number three pick. Yeah, Tracy yeah. McGrady with the number nine pick. Damn, he was number nine. That's. Crazy. I mean, Chris, Chris Ancy representing Australia, number eighteenth pick. Coming soon. And <laughs> I think he played like one season and tipped. It's a plot. John John Thomas. John Thomas, pick twenty five. <laughs> no, I'm just going through random players now. Anyway, yeah, so he was definitely one of the, he's probably the best to come out of his class, bro. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. I'm telling you, Chris, like, Chris Ancy played Damn. two years, two years yeah, in that, the NBA. That sucks, ass. Who, who, who did he play for? <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's still good. He played for the Dallas Mavericks in 1997. Oh wait, no, 1997 to 1999, and then played for the Chicago Bulls in 1999 to 2000. Then he came back to Australia <laughs> and played for the Victoria Titans. And he played until 2010. That's pretty. <laughs> Except for the Melbourne Tigers, like. I've never so. heard of this guy in my life. Two two time NBL MVP, 2006 2008, and he would have been old as well. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's good, but like I've never heard of this man in my life. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> He's goaded, right? Go this go greatest NBL player of all time. My man, my man had a very long career. Man, so Duncan was also the 97 NCAA Player of the Year. You know what's crazy? Tim Duncan wasn't even originally going to be an NBA player. Mm, yeah, yeah, I heard that as well. What he was, was going to be? He was going to be a swimmer. Like, mm, I remember um, in his hometown, he was like practicing swimming. He was real good. He wanted to make the Olympics. And then the pool got destroyed. So then he just picked up, he picked up basketball like really late. And then he just like was a god. Went to uni and then went to uni for four years to just help his development. And then got drafted by the Spurs. The that, is, history. that is the dumbest story I've ever heard in my life. You know, Some people, people just naturally grinding, And this man just happened to just happened to pick yeah. up a basketball because a pool burnt down. <laughs> pool burnt down. Pool burnt down. Ah, the, water in the, the water in the pool <laughs> stopped burnt. from burning down. Bro, why am I getting flamed? <laughs> ah, I get it. Get it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's insane, bro. <laughs> All right, moving on, moving yeah, on, yeah, moving on. Moving on. Yeah, moving so on. one of three one of three players in NBA history who kind of more than a thousand regular season wins. Bro, that is huge. I mean, yeah, that was all with Pop. That was all one with of Pop. four my 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 player, you know? A thousand regular season wins for A. No, that's right. Yeah, but he can't win on the park, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, the fact that he's played a thousand games on 2K. Yeah, yeah I've, sad, I've, simmed, I've, I've simmed a thousand games. <laughs> <laughs> right. 15 uh, times at all NBA team. 13 that's crazy. Time all defensive team. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's a crazy, crazy. stat. That's very good. 15 time all star. 23 time NBA player of the week. Wait, in his whole career, it was only only twenty three times, really. But if you think yeah, about you think it, like, more. Eh? Yeah, but, but there's like, a lot of good players in there. The Spurs, the Spurs. You like you're sacrificing stats. So I can, that's like, just that's true. Yeah, they yeah. have a look at stats when they do those those things as well. Nine time NBA Player of the Month, tied three three all time for most seasons with one with one team, which is nineteen seasons. Yes, yeah, and then Kobe second and Dirk's first. Yeah. And then eight career triple doubles, four regular, four regular seasons, and four playoffs. So you in, in, um, in the playoffs, so you kind of step it up with that. Yeah, playoffs. Well, because you had more of a chance, like, like getting twice. more of a role in the playoffs. Yeah, true. And uh, lastly, probably the most important stat: Tim Duncan is one of four players in NBA history who drafted number one overall and won the Rookie of the Year MVP, Finals MVP in their career. The only other players to do this are Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, arguably the best center in the world ever. Ever. Uh, arguably. Arguably. Is. <laughs> ever. Is. Shaquille O'Neal also did this, who is arguably one of the best centers ever. And LeBron James, <laughs> who is arguably the best player. Bro, what the, what this guy with the word arguably, wait, my guy? Wait, wait, where's, where's, I, don't wanna, I don't want to say. I don't want to say who's the best and who isn't because you know <laughs> people gonna people gonna get on my back about it. Wait, wait, <laughs> where's Where's Michael Jordan on this list? Where, where's the goat? Michael Jordan was drafted oh, third. Bro. Oh, oh, okay, exactly, <laughs> exactly, bro, my exactly. Guy was drafted third, like, exactly. He doesn't deserve to be on this list, bro. He he was on this list. <laughs> Hakeem he was first. On. Hakeem, Hakeem, bro. Hakeem was first. No, yeah, that was a good thing, though. That was wasn't it like pick. Portland were meant to get LeBron or something? Uh, no, LeBron. Um, bro, Portland choked, Portland choked from two generational players. They missed Michael Jordan, 
and they missed Kevin Durant. Yeah, they missed Kevin Durant. That was <laughs> but, uh, but Greg Oden had a lot of injuries. Yeah, Greg, you know Greg I mean? Oden. Like, he actually been could have been good. Yeah, he actually would have been well, good. He would have been better than Kevin Durant. Oh, of course not. But he still could have been. Like, uh, like I don't know. Star, we, know we, I mean? you, know, you never know. You we, never, he never know. got to develop. Yeah, you never we know. just saw him off his raw talent. Mm. Uh, uh, All right. In your opinion, George, does Tim Duncan deserve to be a Hall of Famer? Of course, 100%. No question. He he's not ten, top ten of all time, but yeah, I guess I guess he can. I guess I guess he can. I guess he can. Um... Your bum's in the Hall of Fame as well. We got to remember that the Hall of Fame is very generous to giving out. Facts, yeah, yeah, giving yeah, that's out. Facts, um, bro. They yeah, gave me that like Kobe Hall of Fame one. So I'm just kidding. I'm, just kidding. Oh, I'm gonna go a bit. I'm gonna get off. I want to ask you a question. Do you reckon Derek Rose will get into the Hall of Fame? No, nah, he shouldn't. He shouldn't. You don't reckon? You don't reckon he should? He shouldn't. No, no. Like he hasn't done anything like. Hall of Fame worthy, like he won, won an MVP. MVP. Yeah, he was the youngest, youngest MVP. Yeah, it's but, one year. But he was the youngest MVP. But is that how we're gonna do it? Like every time someone wins an MVP, they bank Hall of Fame. Does Russell Westbrook get into the Hall of Fame? No. Oh no. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, Westbrook. Westbrook, but Westbrook did more. Held, Westbrook's done more than yeah, Rose. He's got an important. He's got one of the greatest records of all time. The most triple doubles in one season. Plus, he's made a lot of All Stars, a lot of All NBA teams yeah. throughout like ten whatever Three-time years. All Star MVP. Oh, two star, or three star, three time. I think it's. Oh, I, I, think it's I, think I think it's two, two or something. I think it's three two. time. I think it's three time also. No, he won back to back, didn't he? He won. No. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, you know what? Another question is: if Dwight Howard should, oh, I reckon he does make it, but a no. lot of people are like, nah, not Dwight. Not nah, Dwight, oh man. no, but I'm putting Dwight in. I'm putting, I'm putting Dwight, Dwight in because those eight years in Orlando were something else, bro. Three time in a row defensive player of the year, and they he made it to the final, and they made it to the final. Lakers. It's hundred percent if he wins a championship. If he wins a if he wins if he wins a chip, yeah, he'll get put in. But I reckon he does anyway. I, I think he, I think he makes forget it. how good he was. You know what's crazy? I think LeBron, he how good he was. LeBron was going to win a championship this year. It was like it was written in the stars. No, they've robbed him of his fourth they, ring. It's they a literally disgrace. Robbed, it's a disgrace. They robbed the his one year. Of his Bro, one I year. No, I don't. I couldn't. Know. I couldn't do it the last Clippers. year. They couldn't do it when he had no one on his team. They had to do it this year. <laughs> the Clippers. The Clippers <laughs> had the Clippers had their number, bro. No, they he was like you know numbers. what? He was giving you know that 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 no, that's the thing. That's the thing. I was looking. So, I was so excited for it. Like imagine a Clippers like his conference final. Dude, that was gonna be so exciting. Oh my! God. You know, it was gonna be so good. And no one in the I West, so could, for the no playoffs. one in the East could contain him. No one in the East could have contained him. So he pretty much has four rings. Gonna tell me, is gonna. We we, we, we count this year as his ring, but we count this year as his ring. We don't. LeBron retires. Yeah, LeBron retires. Yes, we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. And we should we should probably count 2015 as well because Kyrie and Love were injured. <laughs> <laughs> so LeBron has five rings. I think he has five and rings. Then we, and then we and should, he, we should we should we should discredit 2007 because like he had bums. So LeBron yeah, actually yeah, has, no, four, has three finals losses. The only final loss he actually has is 2001 because like 20, 2013 was 2014 was some cheese. So you know what LeBron and Katie, was, like, and came to the Warriors, mate. Unfair, oh yeah, so, so 2017 and 2018. Yeah. Like, give, give LeBron's, never lost. LeBron's never lost. LeBron's never lost. LeBron's pretty much he's never pretty lost in the finals. No, anyway, so that's a, best that's a moment, different story. Best moment of Tim Duncan's career. What are we saying? Or the best biggest highlight? What biggest are we saying? highlight. Ooh. Oh, you, you know, what? I've got one. I've got one. Um, in the conference finals against the Lakers, when he hit that um. The running, the running hook over. Oh Shaq. yeah, yeah. That, that was, was lit. That was lit. huge. That was huge. That is lit. Ah, uh, I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't really know many um highlights that he has. I'm, I'm gonna. This isn't like a specific highlight. It's more the um the 2014 finals run that they had, especially because he was so old and he was still playing like at a world class level. And he was like leading that team, although like you know they were even. He was pretty much leading that team true. on offense and defense. So that's true. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say the whole run, not just the finals. Just his whole dynasty, the whole, was a whole, the whole playoffs. Yeah, his whole. Playoffs. And if you look at they beat, was pretty much beat the Mavericks in seven, beat the Trailblazers in five, beat the Thunder in six, and then do a gentleman sweep of the Bronze Heat. Yeah, after he shot fifty two percent from three, and like sixty percent from the field. Another loss that shouldn't count. But that's, that's that's fine. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. That's yeah, cool. No, you take Tim Duncan out, he would have won that. Fact. What? Kawhi yeah, had Tim Duncan and clamps, bro. Fuck Kawhi. Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi bitch. <laughs> Ka- Ka- Kawhi got slapped <laughs> by LeBron. Oh my god, bro. 
Anyway, <laughs> anyway. What? <laughs> Yo, Mo- moving on to our next Hall of Fame inductee. No, not inductee. Is it's um? It's about to be inducted. Yeah, finals. Tamika Catchings. Now. Tamika Catchings. Tamika. Yeah, Tamika. Tamika. Oh, same thing. Tamika. Tamika. Nah, I'm sorry. Tamika. Don't do that, Tamika. Unfortunately, I don't know. Like, we've got some stats and stuff written down here about her, but I don't know enough about her to actually quote anything on her. So I'm just going to go off what the stats are saying. And by her resume and accomplishments, it looks like she's got a very well put together career, I could, you could say. Is that, what you, is, that what you, is that how you describe it? A well put together career? Um, yeah, yeah, you could you could say that. Yeah, you could say that. She, you, she, really. she looks she looks heavily accomplished here. I mean, I'm sure yeah, like, Taka or George might know a bit more about her than me. I mean, we'll reel off some of her accomplishments, but uh, yeah, Taka, you know anything about her? Oh, uh, bro, legit researching her, she's actually fucking the goat. She's but, like re- when you read like just the stuff she's did was actually it's actually crazy. Like W, she's like the WNBA goat. Ah, so she's like she's like the LeBron of the WBA. Yeah. The Michael Jordan, but yeah, yeah. No, no, LeBron. She's five five times no, defensive player of the year. So That's she actually crazy. plays she actually plays defense unlike other people we know. Hey, we're talking about James, James Harden. Harden. James, we're, James we're, not talk, Harden. we're not talking about we're not talking about James Harden. <laughs> so <laughs> catching us as a third That's overall crazy. pick five in the two thousand and one WNBA draft, seen as defensive legend in the WNBA and one of the pioneers of the game for women's basketball. Her key mm. statistics of her 15 seasons was 16.1 points per game, 7.3 rebounds per game, 3.3 assists per game, and 2.4 steals per game. Now, those are some pretty, like, pretty big stats. 2.4 steals per game is crazy. Where did, where did yeah, she play? Absolutely. What was her position? She was uh, small forward. She was small forward. God damn. She was tearing it up. Now, some of her career accomplishments. I mean, geez, she's got a long list here, man. 2012 mm. WNBA champion, 2012 WA Finals MVP, 2011 WNBA MVP, 2002 WNBA Rookie of the Year, four-time Olympic gold medalist in 2004, 2008, like back to back to back to back years. So four, four years, four Olympics in a row. She four peated, bro. She did, she did a horse. She four peated, <laughs> almost a horse on. No, nah, yeah, almost a horse on. That good. <laughs> Two-time FIBA World Champions, five-time Defensive Player of the Year. Ten, so ten time all star, seven times steel champ, steel champion. That is crazy. Nineteen ninety eight NCAA champions at Tennessee, WNBA two thousands all decade team, third all all time in total points. <laughs> like that is crazy. These stats are just insane. Eighth all time in total assists, third all time in total rebounds, first all time in total steals. Top ten of and- every. Every category. And that's that, crazy. That's no, that's that, that is, and I think she was like is, she was like twelfth in total rebounds as well. So she was like two away from total yeah. um tenth in total rebounds. Oh, you reckon she would have played one more game? I'm not total rebounds. I'm um. Oh no, she was like oh, I remember she was like um one of the positions she was second or like she was like legit like two points no total points just two points away from being second. That's crazy. That she that's actually could have played like that. And number 24, retired by Indiana Fever. I mean, geez, that is a long list of accomplishments. Like, this looks like, she looks like one of those players that was just goaded. Like, she was. Oh 100%. God. This is a 100% guarantee deserves to be a Hall of Famer. Like, no bullshitting. This is some crazy Facts. stats. She was so good as well. She just bowled out. Longevity as Legit. well. Looks good because she played mm-hmm. a whole. Obviously, and to have all those top tens, you have to play for a while. You know, okay, to uh, look yeah. after your body and all that, and be healthy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. To her, that's really good. She played fifteen seasons. That's crazy. Yeah, that's good. And so that's, that's some long, longevity in her career. Also, um, she retired as playoff leader in points, rebounds, steals, double doubles, games played, and minutes played. Jeez. What the? Fuck? That's crazy. That is. And she has- she yeah. has the most All Star selections voted as a starter every year. Really? Yeah, she'd have to be. Yeah. Damn. In two thousand five campaign, catching scored two thousand her two thousand point in the WNBA. With this, she became the fastest player to reach to so score two thousand career points in WNBA, reaching the milestone in only four seasons of play. Two thousand points in four seasons. What the? That's fuck? like five hundred. Five hundred points per That's season. Far. 
That's crazy. And the WNBA season isn't as long as the NBA season. Yeah, I was going to say, well. they don't have 82 games. They've only got like, um, wait, I think it's like just over half. It's just over half. Let me have a look. It's the length. It's 34 games. Yeah, 34. What the? That's fucked. That is crazy. That's fucked. <laughs> Let's just... All right, we're back from our full intermission. Um, <laughs> Slow intermission. <laughs> so, um, we left off by quoting that she's the fastest to reach 2,000, st- uh, 2000 points. Um, and here's a, here's a little quote from her just to finish off her immaculate career. I would never have dreamed that the WNBA would start my freshman year in college and I would have the opportunity to play in a league that was designed just for me. Now, um, women's basketball has taken a... Like, it's going through the roof right now. Like, it's actually taking off. It's going up. Yeah, it's going... And then, like, what, the girls they have coming through college, they're going to go into the WNBA. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, I know. It's gonna... I reckon it'll, it'll get bigger. Yeah, I reckon soon we're going to be seeing the league just blow up. Like, I'm not going to I'm not gonna say anything. Like, I, I don't want to talk too much about it because I feel like I'm just going to say the wrong thing but, like, have a good intention to it. You know, and I'm just going to get rinsed. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get rinsed. I'm just going to get rinsed. <laughs> I'm going to say something like, you know, soon the women are going to start competing with the men. I'm just going to get rinsed. For no, it. don't say shit like that. <laughs> but, but, no, they nah, are popping nah, off. But you never know. You never know. It's going... I think WNBA is, like, sort of... That and women's soccer are the headliners for um women's sport no, in general. Women's soccer, I reckon... Women's soccer is much better. Women- than any other women's no, no, sport. Women's oh, yeah. cricket. It's tennis. Women's tennis and soccer. Oh, women's it's tennis. Yeah, as well. tennis. Yeah. Tennis is the, obviously yeah. the number no, no. one. Wait, women's cricket is insane. Just quickly. The Australia. Yeah, we're good. But we? like, I was looking at the 2020s. Bro, they bloody bang. Like, they're full hitting sixes and shit like all the time. It's actually pretty good. I was actually watching it with my dad. It was actually pretty entertaining. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah, women. Girl, power, <laughs> what, right? girl, women. <laughs> girl, hashtag girl dad. <laughs> Taku, stop right. taking the piss, man. This isn't, this isn't a joking topic. Yeah, come on, dude, shut up, Taku. Come on, bro. Shut Just because you're a minority, you can you can talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not that's not false. Yeah, so false. Hey, all right. Can. Before we say anything racist, hey, let's all right, let's, let's get out of this. Hey, right, Kevin Garnett, big the big ticket. K the big ticket. Often seen as a top five power forward of all time, an essential part to the 2008 championship Celtics and the fifth overall pick in the 1995 NBA draft in the Minnesota Timberwolves. He had a very impressive defensive re- resume and impressive career in general. It's no surprise that KG has been elected into the Hall of Fame. With 17.8 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, 1.4 blocks per game, 3.7 assists per game, and 1.3 steals per game in 21 NBA seasons. Baller. Baller. Baller status. Baller. And people forget, he played like in his prime. He was with the Timberwolves and he had like no one mouse on his yeah, bro, Are you sleeping with and Sam Cassell? Did, didn't he take him? Sam Cassell. Sam Cassell. Sam, yeah. yeah, but he, was, he only made the All-Star team like once or something, didn't he? Yeah, but he took the Timberwolves I'm, I'm not Western, the Conference, Western Conference Finals in the year he won MVP. They're like pretty much, like, and that was against like the and that was against like the Spurs, the um, the like I don't know if the Lakers were as good. Nah, then, but... 2004 was Shaq. Oh, no, they were still there. Was Shaq I mean, still there? I Shaq left Shaq. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. yeah. So that was against the Spurs, the Lakers, um, you know, the the Suns. I think was starting to come up. So that was against some really good Western Conference teams. KG, mm-hmm. that's a very good accomplishment. KG is a great player, but I don't know. I don't know if like Hall of Fame, you reckon? Bro, he, yeah. legit, the Minnesota Timberwolves history is just Kevin Garnett. That's it. That's true. That's that true. is that is that's, that's just it's just Kevin Garnett. There's nothing else. Unanimous go of, of that. Yeah, franchise. and then what? So, 2008 NBA champion, 2008 Defensive Player of the Year, 2004 NBA MVP, four-time First Team All NBA, nine-time First Team All Defense, and then he has one Olympic gold medal, 15-time All Star. Yeah. Yeah. True. And then the only player in NBA history with 25,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, 5,000 assists, 15, 1,500 blocks, and 1,500 steals. Yeah, that's a crazy, some crazy stats. I guess you can see it. He's, his accomplishments do point to Hall of Famer status. But, you know, 
that, there's something about him like that. I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah. But is he on LeBron's level? Is he on like the like th- them men over there's level? You know. But those are just like those are like Le- like the LeBrons, the Kobe's, the Michael Jordan. Are like different level. Like I would think the Hall of Fame should have like it's like Hall of Fame, but they just have like goat status. Did they? Accept- too. Is there like a first ballot Hall of Fame? Yeah. Which is KG. Which no, is KG, the first ballot is just when you get in, like the first year you're eligible. So Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan are the oh, all so first ballot awesome. Hall of Fame. How was Kobe not first ballot then? Yeah, yeah. No, because Kobe's only eligible this year. That's why it's first ballot. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, was gonna say. I thought I thought he wasn't first ballot. That's what I was saying. I think the thing about KG is not just his accomplishments. Obviously, he was iconic and like things like his yeah, trash true. talk and things. Yeah, very. You know, true. like that. That weren't weren't just his accomplishments. Did all those things were iconic. Yeah. Did Dikembe Mutombo make Hall of Fame? Dikembe Mutombo. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think he did. See, like, he would have. You know, reckon he was Hall of Fame? For the, oh. the Hall of Fame's so generous. Anyone, like, anyone can make the Hall of Fame. Yeah, no, you just got to make the NBA. Like, these coaches who were not even covering, you know. But then, like, the there's a, co- I think a lot of them were college yeah. coaches. They weren't NBA coaches. Did Carl Sagan make the Hall of Fame? Who was he? Was he a reporter? Yeah, he was that reporter. Guy. Yeah, he was a reporter. Um, oh, crazy. He made yeah. it. Did he? Yeah. He probably I don't did. know if he did. But then, like, what would, would it be? What contribution? He was, he was, he was good. Carl Sagan. I mean, he's. I mean, he was. He was. You, you can't you make the Hall of Fame from um, from like reporting as yeah. well and being like a TV personality. Yeah. Like a TV so, analyst. Stephen A. Smith doesn't make Hall of Fame, bro. It's real. Yeah, sports broadcasting Hall of Fame. Yeah, no, yeah. So he was so. um, bro- um, into the broadcasting Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty cool to have that. And the, but then so then um. Also, one thing I wanted to say that two thousand I hate that two thousand eight championship team Celtics. The bro, the way they talk about the but not I like do. but like yeah they talk about the not, not, it's more something. like Paul Pierce, fucking Kendrick Perkins. Bro, if I oh I hate Paul Pierce man with the passion the baby the <laughs> big baby Kendrick but, bro, they talk about that championship like they were a dime like they won like they repeated like yeah. they were the greatest thing since sliced bread yeah. like um. Kendrick Perkins, like he Slice tweeted, break. he was like, he was like, oh, um, that 2018 was the greatest defensive team or like top three greatest defensive team of all time. I was like, who? What? I'll allow it. What? Who did I have? Should I have just have the um, Perkins was decent. But per- was Ray Allen yeah, a good defender? He was all right. He was all right. Yeah. Paul Pierce wasn't that good, and then Rondo was all right, but like. And then, like, the way... I don't know. I just... that I hate that team. And then the way they treated Ray Allen when he left. Yeah, dogs. Then, yeah. Oh, my God. And I just... Rondo's just a little bitch. Like, fuck me. Bro, Ray Allen goaded, man. Oh, my God. Ray Facts. Allen. I love Ray I Allen. I love Ray Allen, man. Ray Allen. He's such a good, like... Look look what he says in his interview when he's talking about the beef. Like, he he's is. So he doesn't nice. say anything bad about it. Everything he says, he's like, just, he shows like, respect. He's just a top yeah, exactly. He's just a top load. But then, like, yeah, I say I don't like Paul Pierce. And some of the takes Paul Pierce does on ESPN. I'm oh, like... bro. If, if Paul Pierce... He's, I actually don't mind him. He's a troll, though. He's funny. Cause he's no, a yeah, he's a troll. He's so annoying. He, he's he he's taken the piss. He, I actually like he him. He legit thinks he's, like, top five good. all time. He's like, oh, yeah, like, me and Kobe, man. I'm like, bro, you are not on Kobe's level. That's bro. easy. Bro. Bro. Don't and even... when he was like, I'm oh, better than Dwayne Wade, I was like, oh, I'm like, right, bro. That's easy. I was like, all right, bro, relax. Nah, he's just doing it for the piss test, I reckon. He I doesn't mean not. it. Cause he's I hope not, bro. Bro, Paul oh Pierce the bum. Oh, my God. Look at Curry, man. How, how uh, will Kevin Garnett what? be remembered? As a bum. His NBA, how? As, as a... The as a, Whatever I think. I, um, the best trash yeah. talker of all time, yeah. potentially, as well. I mean, you can't forget, like, Larry Bird. Bird. No, no, no. The greatest... The Larry greatest, Bird was great. The greatest thing he's done... Was yeah, anything is possible on live TV? That is anything. Anything is possible. Anything I remember is possible. that. <laughs> that is the greatest thing he's done. Facts. For me, Facts, that was pretty cool. Tim, when he won the MVP with the Timberwolves, go Timberwolves, yeah, go. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I'm gonna say when he took him that 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 and taking them to the yeah, West. How he yeah, how that playoff the team to the That's... finals, man. I reckon that's more impressive than actually win the championship. Especially, if with the Celtics. If you if you can uh, carry a team with no all you're the only yeah. all star and no other all stars on your team, you deserve the championship. Like Plus it's the Timberwolves. Like if you can if you can make the playoffs like with the Can you guys just like, get off Le- get off the like, bro? Bro, it's mad. 
Yeah, yeah, LeBron did that like, five times. Well, what's all going on? Fuck you, though. Anyway, like, on really to the final player, Hall of Fame inductee. It's the third greatest player of all time. Third greatest player of all time. George was tweaking, but we'll allow it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On, Look, my top five. Kobe Bryant. What else can be said? I. The draft is out of high school to the Charlotte Hornets and quickly traded to the Lakers. A monster on both sides of the ball. And if he left his worth ethic, led him to inspire an entire generation. Key stats, 25 points per game, 5.2 rebounds per game, 4.7 steals per game. I mean, assists per game. And 1.4 steals per game. 20 seasons all with one franchise. Yeah, no. Well, what, a, what a goat. No, nah, this guy was genuinely good. This guy. Goat. 12-time all-defensive team. That's... People forget about that, how good of a defender. Because people might think, oh, he's just like a James No, Harden. yeah, bro. He just no, he nine just times scores, but no, he's nine times first amazing. team. Nine times first team all defense. Wait, you, you left off that the, more than the Oscar Jordan. winner. You left it off has, that Oscar winner. Oh, Oscar. Uh, let me add that, oh, let me add that real God. quick. Bro, this man won an Oscar as an NBA player. If that doesn't scream GOAT, I don't know what King. does, man. King, I'm telling you, King. Man, uh, so obviously, five time champion, two time finals MVP, 2008 mm-hmm. NBA MVP, two time scoring champion, 18 time All Star, four time NBA All Star game MVP, and then obviously had the trophy named after him. 15 time All NBA, 12 time All Defense, oh, slam dunk champion. So, yeah. Slam dunk champion. Does LeBron have a. Yeah. See, I don't think LeBron has an NBA slam dunk champion, does he? No, it doesn't. No, he's bum, never, never done it. Bum, bum. He doesn't pay, it? it? just saves his legs. For the Seems moment. like a silly question, but we'll ask it. Is Kobe Bryant a Hall of Famer? Um, I don't, I don't nah, know. No, no. He's a bum. No, no, no. No, no, Kobe, 100% guaranteed. He was the third greatest player of all time. Mm. People sleep. Like, we, we, wrote, we wrote, uh, wrote here that he had few... If any weaknesses, so he didn't really have any weaknesses. People might say, "Oh, he didn't pass," but if you look at his highlights of his passes, he yeah, didn't have he any did find he it's just like, The he thing could, is, like, he's a very, very. The years that people talk, the years very people talk, like the years yet Shaq he actually was averaging like in the playoffs, he was averaging like seven, seven assists a game, and that's quite a bit, especially for a shooting guard. The yeah, years he didn't good. pass, he had Look. Kwame Brown and Smushed Parker. Bro. <laughs> yeah, no, you Parker, how are you going to get assists those two them? people had? Like, I'll give you a medal. Bro, no, it's like, who are they? <laughs> Kwame Brown. Bro, there, there was a time and then, where um, I saw a photo. It was like the Knicks versus the Lakers. And it's like, bro, if you can name anyone on this team, I'll, like, I'll give you $100. And I literally, I couldn't oh, yeah. name anyone on the team besides Kobe. <laughs> Like it was just Kobe, <laughs> and on the Knicks team, I couldn't find anyone that I knew because I don't think Carmelo was playing. Oh my god! Like it got to a stage oh, where they were hiring people from like the G League to play. It seemed like. Now they were getting people off the street. Like, yo, yeah, they're like, yo, you want to run around for forty-eight minutes real quick? <laughs> hey man, hey man, I need a bench. You want to play? <laughs> the Lakers were struggling. And then, and then, so then in his 17th, bro, people forget, people say LeBron's having, like, he had a great, in Kobe's 17th season before the Achilles injury, was averaging 27 points yeah, per game. Yeah, that's crazy. 5.6 mm. rebounds and 6 assists. 30 by 8 minutes. That's the, I'm like, 30 people minutes. forget, that's like, people think, oh, LeBron, like, no one's been this good in their 17th year. Kobe, in his 17th year before the Achilles injury, like, when he was wielding that Lakers team to the playoffs, was balling yeah, out. Yeah. Plus, LeBron's playing like 34 minutes a night or something compared to 38. It was fun. You know, so it was like, crazy. So Kobe's like doing much. It was work. crazy. Oh, yeah. Was that when he had yeah, Dwight and that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Was that that year? 2013, yeah. yeah. It was actually nuts. And mental, mental, chicken and then, oriental. Then how will Kobe Bryant be remembered to you guys? Uh, goat, goat. Just straight out goat. Goat, yeah. It's, it's... That's probably like. Up there with one of the most iconic players of all time, and just yeah, most inspiration to in so generation. many people. Generational, generational. Well, no, see anything like him again. The greatest athlete out of Los Angeles as well. I don't know. Oh, I don't know any uh, other athletes oh, that came. I don't Kareem. know any other athletes that came. Kareem. Kareem. For me, it's between him and Kareem because Kareem, 
No, I thought Kobe number one because he was more he was more I mean, um, Wilt inspirational. Was Wilt was but Kareem went to Kareem went to UCLA as well. Wilt, Wilt oh, was true, a true, true. Oh, Wilt, yeah, Bro, true. he was an athlete. He wasn't a basketball. He was an athlete. Athlete. Men bench like a hundred kgs for breakfast. Uh, oh, no, Kobe was more yeah, iconic. Facts. So. We have to wrap up. This, I'd say the yeah, to wrap up this amazing podcast brought to you by TGT, sponsored by Kremlin. Link in the description if the site's up yet. Um, is this quick, quick, quick the, point? No, no, that plug was amazing. Is this 2020 class the greatest Hall of Fame class that we've seen? I'd say yes. so. But I'd say just, just, I, I would say because so. you look at you look at the other ones. So the class of 2009: Michael Jordan, Dave Robertson. John Stockton, Jerry Sloan. That's that's not, like, it's not there. It's competing, not there. but I have a bit of a an unpopular. I have a bit of an unpopular opinion here. I think John Stockton is Facts. overrated. Facts. His career is overrated. Facts. A I don't think he was ever like a massive he's superstar. He's more assist. just like he did the longevity. He actually forced fed assists. Like he would bounce the ball, yeah, bounce the ball, and then like when Carmelo would cut, just give the ball. Like it's just pick and roll the field. Yeah, but that's what great players I can do. Use, they use their and strength. I saw a YouTube video. I saw a YouTube video. The system they played in, like it allowed him to get heaps of steals and heaps of assists. If that yeah, makes sense, yeah. like, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not putting that against him, but I just think he's a bit overrated. But people say, "Oh, second grade, second grade." And if you look at it, like time. Michael Jordan, Kobe, yeah, no. Michael Jordan's like above Kobe, but not that much. That's like they pretty much cancel each other out. Tim Duncan greater uh-huh. than David Robinson. Kevin Garnett. Yeah, fact. Kevin Garnett, he's I reckon. On, yeah, great. If you put like Kevin Garnett. Kevin can get gone at it to make a catching equal greater than John Stockton easily. And then Jerry Sloan, like, as great as he was, I don't think, like, he bumps as a coach. He doesn't bump them above the 2020 class. Was Jerry Sloan the, the jazz coach? Yeah, the, yeah, wasn't he between – Through those years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Through those years. The, the, 19, the 1980 class – Yeah, I'm, I'm saying this. There's a few players that, like, I can really say, yeah, they're actually, like, good. Oscar Robertson and Jerry West. That's the only two I'm thinking. I think I Jerry Lucas was Jerry, good as well. Him, much about him. But, yeah, neither, but I've just heard he was, I mean, know, he was good. I think he played for... 89th and win shares, like, doesn't stack up to, like, what um what both classes had. Yeah, I know. Like, Dunk, Dunk, uh, Duncan's class... I say Duncan's class. The 2020 class was crazy. It is crazy, sorry. He's, got, he's going to be crazy. And I, I remember... I remember um when Tim Duncan... Not Tim, when Kevin Garnett retired, I think... I don't know if... I, can't, I think this might be what he said, but it was like... He's like, oh, he wanted to be in the same Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame class as Kobe. Like, that's one of the reasons why he was like, he was like oh, yeah, Who's I'm going to retire now when Kobe did. I'm Tim, um, yeah, Kevin probably. Garnett. But why? I wonder why. So, yeah. Because this 2020 class is fucking, it's, this is like easily the greatest Hall of Fame yeah. class of all time. Right? I'd love if like 2K put in, in like, like every like Hall of Fame class and you could play with their team. Oh, that, but then be you play with too many cats. Ideas. Ronnie, get on it. Oh, yeah. get on. <laughs> Fuck. Your buddy Bob, your buddy cousins. Oh my god. Bro, hell. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand idiot, this right? man. Like, you have to. Yeah. And cousins oh. still. Wait, wait. wait let's, end the, let's end the episode. Let's end the episode. So, the not you stats for Tim Duncan's career's high, career highs. He had. No, no, no. We're not, no I just took this out. I took this out. <laughs> no, we're not using this. No, no, no not there. Not there. Oh, that's why it says not used above it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you very much for listening, guys. We hope you enjoyed. Fun to do, bro. This was all over the shop, but it was great. George not turning his mic. AFL oh, Evolution just come as well. I can't yeah, wait. Exactly. I can't oh, wait. Hey, can't no wait to get into it. By the way, so um, this is to address the people and the YouTube. But I was uploading the video the other day, and you know how it said I had three hours left on it, and it went like mm. through all night. It's still loading on my laptop. <laughs> it's still. It says well, two minutes R. left. All right, P. It's not like you so that. It's my laptop. Oh, my laptop's too old. I need to fix that Wi-Fi. No, no, my lap, my laptop is old. <laughs> it's just breaking down. I got all my DJ. I got all my DJ stuff uh, and all that on it. Coming soon. Anyway, thank you, you too. <laughs> thank you guys for listening. We appreciate we appreciate you. Appreciate every one of you. Make sure you check out Instagram, uh, Instagram, YouTube. Twitter, Facebook, all of that. YouTube. Oh, YouTube, bro. Don't YouTube, we have Reddit bro. as well? When did we, we get Reddit? Reddit? When did but we YouTube. Get Reddit? 
I got Reddit, and then I'm just like, <laughs> I haven't played it. YouTube video well, um, coming do... to... hopefully Today. tomorrow. <laughs> when it actually we don't tomorrow. know. We don't tomorrow. know. Tomorrow. I'm gonna try. I'm but, gonna yeah. Tomorrow. Uh, but like by the time I put the podcast up, the YouTube video should be out. So everything will be in the description. And uh, we've got this is just the beginning. We've got more stuff coming out every week. Yes. Sir. This quarantine, this quarantine just got us out yeah. here busy. Hey, so, yeah, make sure thanks for watching. Check out thanks for all listening. the social medias, man. Right. Bro, I'm telling you, we're coming. We're coming. We're the next. We're the next big thing. Next but, big thing. Hey. <laughs> hey, check out Kremlin. Check out Kremlin. We're the next side man. <laughs> check oh, out Kremlin. Yeah, yeah, check out Kremlin. But anyway, thanks for listening. And uh, have a great day, night, evening, whatever you're doing. Peace. Stay safe. Peace. Peace. Peace.